Hello everyone, this is Indrajit Ganguly and today I will discuss with you Buddhist sculpture and architecture of ancient India and how these sculpture and architecture will help us to understand about Buddhism. On your screen you can see the four important sites related to the life of Gautam Buddha. First one you can see that is Lumbini. This place present day located in Nepal and this place recognized as the birthplace of Gautam Buddha. Second place is Bodh Gaya. It is located in present day Bihar and this is the place where Gautam Buddha attained enlightenment. The third place located in Uttar Pradesh that is Sharnath. This is the place where Gautam Buddha gave its first sermon. And the last place that is also important that is Kushinagara located in present day Uttar Pradesh where Gautam Buddha attained Nibbana which means this is the place where Gautam Buddha died. So these are the four important places associated with the lives of Buddha. Remember students these four places are very important for the board examinations because these four places are, are important uh, as for the map work. So I am requesting you to, to practice these four sites on the map of India. Apart from, uh, apart for, uh, from the, these four sites, there are other places too that were regarded as sacred. This was because relics of Buddha, bodily remains and objects used by him were buried there. These were mounds known as stupas. Mauryan Emperor Ashoka distributed portions of the Buddha's relics to every important town and ordered the construction of stupas over them. By the 2nd century BCE, a number of stupas such as Bharot, Shachi, Sharnath had been constructed. Okay, so remember these are also important for the short question that which Buddhist shrine was constructed by modern emperor Ashoka. Next, I will discuss with you about the structural designs of this stupa. You can see this is the structural design of this stupa. Okay, the so stupa is a semicircular mound, semicircular mound of earth, later called anda. So, this is a semicircular mound of earth which is known as anda. Above the anda was the harnika the balcony like structure that represented the abode of gods which means the residence of god arising from the harmika was a must called yashti you can see there is a pole okay this pole is known as yashti uh, okay and yashti was often surrounded by chatri or umbrella a railing separated the sacred place from the secular world. Worshippers entered through the eastern gateway and walked around the mound clockwise. So this is the designs, design of the stupa and each of the part has its own significance. Okay, uh, in your book there are two important stupas are there. Discuss, uh, there, there is a discussion about the two important stupas. First one is Shachi stupa. You can see this is the Sanchi Stupa. The Sanchi Stupa is generally located in Bhopal and I have already discussed you that what was the contribution of Shah Jahan Begum for the preservation of the Sanchi Stupa and nowadays it is regarded as the uh, world heritage site and it was a very important place of Buddhism. But there are another uh, Buddhist site which is very important but unfortunately this site was regarded as the ruined monument. Uh, ruined Buddhist monument that is uh, that is generally called the Amravati Stupa. So our next topic that is discovering the topic number 8 from NCRT discovering the fate of Amravati and Sanchi. Okay you can see on your screen this is the picture of Amravati. Okay uh, I'm sorry I couldn't found the original picture of the Amravati but you can understand this is the architectural design of Amravati uh, but the problem is earlier Amravati was uh, recognized as the great stupa okay but 
now it is it is considered as the ruined both buddhist monuments as if because several uh, sculptural panels were taken away from that site and it was placed at Asi- asiatic society calcutta india office madras and some even were were some uh, and some even were placed at the london museum so british archaeologist h h cole he was very disturbed by these type of activities were done by the british official and he was suggested that and he believed that the plaster cast facsimiles of this sculpture should be placed at the museum and the originals should remain at the site so he convinced the of british official to for the preservation of sachi stupa and amravati stupa but unfortunately british official did not give any kind of importance to the amravati stupa but they gave importance to the sachi stupa that's why nowadays sachi stupa is considered as a world heritage site but the amravati stupa is considered as a ruined both buddhist monuments okay so so unfortunately amravati is now just an insignificant little mound and totally denounce its former glory okay now i will discuss with you topic number 9 from ncert different cultural designs at the buddhist site on your screen you can see this is the image that depicted the story of vesanta jataka you can find this uh, picture from ncert page number 100 and figure number 4.30 this image depicted that a generous prince who gave away everything to the brahmins and went to live in the forest with his wife and children okay there is another picture that is picture number 4.14 page number 100 this is the image of empty seat which was meant that and which was indicate that the meditation of gautam buddha under the bodhi tree okay now there is another picture of picture num figure number 4.15 ncia page number 100 this is the picture of stupa this image indicates the mahapari nirvan of gautam buddha okay i i will move on to the next image that is pick that is figure number 4.16 that is the picture of wheel it stood for the first sermon of gautam buddha okay next i will move on to the next image that is picture number 4.17 on page number 101 you can see that a beautiful woman swinging from the edge of a gateway according to literary tradition this could be shala bhanjika according to popular beliefs this was woman whose touch caused trees to flowers and bear fruit this was regarded as an auspicious symbol and integrated into the decoration of the stupa okay so this is the picture of shala bhanjika which was uh, and in generally in the gateways we generally found this type of images and these images is very auspicious symbol and this image is associated with buddhism okay i will move on to the next image that is this is you can see this is a picture of an elephant and this elephant it is called an elephant at sachi this is figure number 4.18 uh, that he picked at an ncert page number 101 this image depicted the significance of strength and wisdom obviously elephant signified the strength and wisdom so obviously these type of images used in the uh, all the architecture of buddha, all the architecture related to buddhism okay next image that is picture number 4.19 page number 102 this is the picture of gajalakshmi art historians believe that this is was a picture of gajalakshmi a woman surrounded by lotus this you can see this is lotus and elephants and while some historians identified the figure as maya some say this is gajalakshmi some art historians say it is gajalakshmi some historians say it is maya maya the mother of lord buddha and some other identified it as gajalakshmi the goddess of good fortune so these are these cultural designs associated with the buddhist sites this is it for today from my next class uh, 
that is the i will discuss with you the last topic of this chapter new religious tradition thank you and have a nice day